Hello everyone, myself Ankur Patel and today we are going to learn projections of lines. So today in this first session of projection of lines, we will discuss basic cases of projection of lines. So in this particular topic of projection of lines, our, uh, we have to draw the projection of lines. That means uh, we have to draw the uh, plan and elevation and the side view of a line by using the given information regarding the line. And the information regarding the line means its length, position of its length with HP and VP and its inclination with HP and VP will be given. So by using this given information regarding the line, our main aim is to draw the front view and the top view of the line. That means the, to draw the projection of the line. Now let us discuss the simple cases of the lines. So the first case is a vertical line, that means a line perpendicular to HP, parallel to VP. Second case is lines, a line parallel to HP and VP both. Third case is line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Fourth case is line is inclined to VP parallel to HP. And fifth and final case is line, line is inclined to both HP and VP. Well, this is an important case because we have to solve the maximum problems of projection of lines on basis of this fifth case line inclined to both HP and VP. So let's start with the first case a line perpendicular to HP parallel to VP. So here we have shown the pictorial presentation of the line line AB which is perpendicular to the horizontal plane parallel to vertical plane and here we are going to draw the orthographic views of this line. So in orthographic uh, projections, the projection line should be parallel to each other and it should be perpendicular to a particular reference plane. So if you want to draw a plan of this line, we have to draw projection lines perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A and B. So draw a line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A and B. We will get the plan of the line over here and it is a point. So here AB is a plan of this line and it is a point. Now if we want to draw the elevation of this line, we have to uh, draw the projection lines uh, perpendicular to VP from A and B. So draw a projection line perpendicular to VP from A, here we will get A dash, from B, here we will get B dash, connect A dash B dash, we will get the front view of the line. So after drawing the plan and elevation of these lines, if we want to get the final orthographic view of the line, we have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction. So after rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction, we will get the orthographic view like this. So this is our XY line, this is our vertical plane, horizontal plane. The top view or plan of a line will be a point AB, will be over here. And the elevation of this line will be a line A dash B dash, will be perpendicular to the XY reference line and elevation of the line will give us the true length and top view will be a point. So whenever the line is perpendicular to HP parallel to VP, the elevation of that line will give us the true length, plan of the line will give us the point. Now let's move on to next case, a line parallel to HP parallel to VP. So here we have shown the pictorial presentation of the line which is parallel to horizontal plane and parallel to vertical plane. So right now line AB is parallel to HP and VP both. And if you want to draw the plan of this line, we have to draw a projection lines perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A and B. So draw a line or draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A. Here we will get the plan of point A. Draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from point B. Here we will get a plan of point B. And by connecting AB, we will get the top view or plan of a line. Now if we want to draw the elevation of a line AB, we have to draw projection lines perpendicular to the vertical plane from A and B. So draw a projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from A, here we will get A dash. From B, here we will get B dash and by connecting A dash B dash we will get the elevation of the line AB. And if we want to uh, draw final orthographic view of a line, we have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction. So after rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction, we will uh, uh, get the orthographic pattern like this. So this is our XY line, this is our horizontal plane, this is our vertical plane. 
so here we will get a plan of line which is AB or top view of the line here we will get the elevation of the line a dash b dash and right now you can see that the plan and elevation of the line is parallel to the x y line and right now the line is parallel to h and vp both that means the elevation length and plan length will give us the true length now let's see the next case a line inclined to hp parallel to vp so here we have shown the pictorial representation of the line which is inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to vertical plane so right now the line AB is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle theta. So the theta is the angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane. And right now the line AB is parallel to the vertical plane. Now we have to draw the projection that means the draw the top view and front view of the line. So if you want to draw the top view of this line AB, we have to draw the projection lines perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A and B. So draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane. So here we will get A which is a plan of point A and draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from point B. So here we will get the plan of point B. So AB will be a top view or plan of line AB. Now if you want to draw the elevation of this line AB, we have to draw the projection lines perpendicular to the vertical plane from A and from B. So draw a line perpendicular to the vertical plane from A, here we will get A dash draw a projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from b here we will get b dash connect a dash b dash so a dash b dash will be our front view or elevation of the line and right now you can see that the front view or elevation of the line is inclined at an angle theta to the x y reference line and if you want to get the final orthographic view of this line we have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction so after rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction the final orthographic view of the lines will look like this so this is horizontal plane vertical plane x y line this is the, the top view of the line line a b so you can see that the line a b or top view of the line a b is parallel to the x y reference line and the top view of the line a b doesn't give us the true length because right now the line is inclined to the horizontal plane so the top view doesn't give us the true length and it will be less than the true length and uh, here we will get the elevation of the line a b a dash b dash so right now you can see that a dash b dash is inclined at an angle of theta to the x y reference line and a dash b dash is our front view and it will gives us the true length of the line so uh, right now the line is parallel to vp so elevation line will give us the true length now let's move on to next case a line inclined to vp parallel to hp so the pictorial representation of the line which is inclined to vp parallel to hp is given over here so right now the line ab is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle phi so phi is the angle of inclination of the line with the vertical plane and right now the line ab is parallel to the horizontal plane so if you want to draw the plan of this line ab we have to draw a projection lines perpendicular to the horizontal plane from a and b so draw a line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A, we will get the plan of point A over here and draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from point B. So here we will get the plan of point B, connect AB, we will get the plan or out of view of the line AB. So right now you can see that the plan of the line AB is inclined at an angle phi to the xy reference line. This line is our xy reference line. Now if you want to draw the elevation of the, this line AB we have to draw the projection lines perpendicular to the vertical plane from A and B. So draw a projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from point A. So here we will get A dash which is our elevation of point A and draw a projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from B. So here we will get B dash. Connect A dash B dash will give us the front view or elevation of the line. So right now you can see that the elevation of the line is parallel to this x y reference line. So if you want to draw the final orthographic view of these lines, you have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction to get the final orthographic views. So after rotating the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise, the plan and elevation of the line will look like this. So this is our XY line, vertical plane, horizontal plane, top view of the line, it is A and B. It is inclined at an angle phi to the XY reference line. And right now line is parallel to the horizontal plane. So the top view or plan of the line will give us the 
2 length and it is inclined at an angle 5 because right now the line is inclined to VP at an angle 5 and the elevation length is parallel to the XY line but the elevation length doesn't give us the 2 length it is less than the 2 length now let's move on to last and final case line inclined to both HP and VP so the pictorial representation of the line which is inclined to HP and inclined to VP is given over here right now this line is inclined to the horizontal plane at an angle theta and inclined to the vertical plane at an angle phi so line AB which is inclined to HP and VP and if we want to draw the plan and elevation of this line we have to draw projections perpendicular to the horizontal plane and perpendicular to the vertical plane from point A and B so if you want to draw the plan of line AB we have to draw projection lines perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A and B so draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from A we will get plan of point A over here draw a projection line perpendicular to the horizontal plane from point B so here we will get the plan of point B connect AB we will get the plan of line AB and right now the plan of line AB is inclined at an angle beta to the XY reference line here we doesn't get the phi angle because line is inclined to HP and VP both now if you want to draw the elevation of this line AB we have to draw the projection lines perpendicular to the vertical plane from A and B so draw a projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from A here we will get A dash draw projection line perpendicular to the vertical plane from B we will get B dash over here so A dash B dash we will be will be our elevation length or front view of the line and right now the front view of the line is inclined at an angle of alpha because right now the line is inclined to HP and VP both so the angle of the elevation length will be the alpha angle now if you want to draw the final orthographic view of this line we have to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree in the clockwise direction so after rotating the horizontal line 90 degree in the clockwise direction we will get the orthographic views of this line like this AB which is our plan and right now the plan is inclined to the XY line at an angle beta and A dash B dash will be the elevation length and right now the elevation length is inclined at an angle of alpha to the XY reference line so what will be the final conclusions if the line is inclined to both HP and VP so here you can see that if the line is inclined to HP and VP both the elevation length is inclined at an angle of alpha and the plan length will be inclined at angle beta and right now elevation length and plan length doesn't give us the true length because right now the line is uh, not parallel to HP and it is not parallel to VP so plan length and elevation length doesn't give us the true length and both are inclined right now the uh, uh, elevation length is inclined at an angle of alpha and plan length is inclined at an angle beta and both are inclined to xy reference line and elevation length plan length doesn't give us the true length both are less than the true length so these are the final uh, conclusion of the line which is inclined to hp and vp so right now we doesn't get, get the true length so how can we find out the true length if the plan length and elevation length of the line is known so here we have shown the figure a dash b dash elevation length inclined at an angle alpha to xy reference line ab inclined at an angle of beta to the xy reference line so how can we find the true length if the plan length or elevation length is known so for that uh, we have to rotate ab up to xy reference line sorry so rotate ab up to locus of A this will be our locus of A here we will get the B2 now from B2 point draw a line perpendicular to the XY reference line uh, from B2 and get the intersection at B dash this point will be our B1 dash and if we, we connect B1 dash to A dash we will get the true length and the angle of this true length will be the theta so theta is the angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane now measure this true length a dash b dash put your rounder at a give an arc on locus of b we will get the b1 over here connect b1 to a we will get the true length over here which is inclined at an angle phi so right now the line is inclined to the vertical plane at an angle phi which is our given data line is inclined to hp and vp both so angle of inclination of the, uh, this line with the vertical plane is phi and angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane is theta.
So here to get the true length of the line, we have followed this procedure. So not this procedure. Now let's move to next case. How can we find the plan length, ele elevation length of the line if true length of the lines are known? So a dash b1 dash, which is our true length, and the inclination of this this line a dash b dash is angle theta with the xy reference line. So theta is the angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane, and a b1, which is also a true length, but inclined at an angle phi, and phi is the angle of inclination of the line with the vertical plane. Now, how can we find the plan length and elevation length of the line? Right now, the true length are known. So first of all, we have to draw a line perpendicular to the xy reference line up to locus of a from b1 dash so draw a line perpendicular to the uh, xy reference line up to locus of a from b1 dash so here we will get b2 now measure a b2 right now the length between a b2 will represents the plan length of the line so measure a b2 and uh, 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 taking center at a uh, and radius is equal to a b2 give an arc on locus of b this will be our locus of P. So here we will get B. Connect B to A. We will get the top view or plan of the line, which is inclined at an angle of beta. Now, if you want to draw the or find the elevation of the line, we have to draw a straight line from B1 up to locus of A dash. Here we will get B2 dash. So A dash B2 dash will give us the elevation length of the line. Now measure A dash B2 dash as an arc length, center at A dash give an arc on locus of b dash so here we will get b dash connect b dash to a dash will be our ele uh, elevation length or front view incline at an angle of alpha and if we connect b dash p it will be on the same vertical line so this will be the projector of p and this will be the projector of a so on the projector of a we will get the elevation and plan of point a and the on the projector of b we will get the elevation and plan of point B and the perpendicular distance between projector of A and projector of B is known as the end projectors of the line. So not this procedure if we have a two length known then how can we find out the plan length and elevation and length of the line. So you have to follow this particular pro procedure so not this procedure to get the plan and elevation length if the two length is known. Now let us discuss the meanings of different terms shown in the diagram of projection of lines. So here we have shown different terms TL, Theta, Alpha, Phi, Beta, Fe, Elevation or Toffee, Plan. So starting from TL, so TL is the true length of the line and it is denoted by A dash B1 dash and A B1 in the diagram of projection of lines. Now next is Fe or EL which is front view or elevation of the line so f u or here which is the front view or elevation of the line and it is denoted by a dash b dash in the diagram of the line now tv or pl so top view or plan of the line so this is top view or plan of the line and it is denoted by a b in the diagram of projection of line now next is ep it is equal to n projectors of the line and here we have shown EP which is N projectors so this is the projector of A projector of B and as we know that on the projector of A we will get elevation and plan of point A and on projector of B we will get the plan and elevation of point B and the perpendicular distance between both N projectors of the line that means the projector of A and projector of B the distance between projector of A and projector of B is known as the N projectors of the line now next is theta it is the angle of line made with the horizontal plane or angle of inclination of the line with the horizontal plane and in the figure we can also say that it is the angle of a dash b1 dash and it is the angle of the true length with the horizontal plane which is theta now phi is the angle of inclination of the line with the vertical plane or it is the angle of a b1 so here we can see that the to length a b1 is inclined at an angle of phi with the xy reference line and phi is the angle of inclination of the line with the vertical plane so this both theta and phi angles are also known as the true inclination of the line with spn vp now next is alpha alpha is the apparent angle made by front view of line with the xy reference line 
and alpha is the angle of a dash b dash which is our elevation line so we can say that alpha is the angle made by the elevation line with the x y reference line then after beta so beta is the apparent angle made by tau phi of the line with the x y reference line so tau phi of the line with the x y reference line so beta is the angle of a b so these are the meanings of different terms used in projection of lines uh, and we are ending this lecture over here uh, thank you for watching uh, we will come with uh, the practice problems of projection of lines in our next lecture till then take care